Imagine enjoying your favorite meat, only this time round, it is not from a cow, sheep, or goat. That is the technology developed by, to redefine meat by an Israeli company that is keen on reducing over-dependence on animals for meat. Well, they do this by using plant-based ingredients and technology to produce meat. Another technology is the use of sound waves to transform male chicks into functional female layers that can lay eggs. Yes, you heard me right. And there is more, a system that monitors your cow's health and steps on a daily basis while you're kilometers away from the farm and sends you feedback. Our reporter Gatete Njoroge recently traveled to Israel where he interacted with the latest technology used by farmers to enhance their yields and solve farming challenges. Mm. So now in the entrance to the kibbutz. If you take a drive to Kibbutz Shar Hagolan overlooking the Gilad Mountains and the Golan Heights, this wonderful sight of lovely trees, lush vegetation, and shiny greenery greets you. Located in northeastern Israel, this expansive piece of land was once a desert before settlement in 1937. Sitting on a 1,000-acre piece of land, Kibbutz Shar Hagolan is like a small industrial city. There are different sections and industries such as dairy, farming, plastic industry, housing, to name but a few. The name of the kind of the bananas is Grain 9. For 85 years, the agricultural community focused on sharing land and resources to generating income and also tackle farming challenges. And in recent years, those efforts have borne fruits. The country has transitioned from the conventional way of doing agriculture and embraced advanced technology and innovation, becoming a world leader in modern agricultural practices. A visit to their 144 acres banana farm and one notices how they have embraced drip irrigation. Pipes are connected to all farms with water being pumped from the Sea of Galilee directly to the plants. With the kibbutz management employing only 50 people to work on the farms, they solely depend on technology to monitor the progress of the crops, which include avocados, oranges, dates and mangoes. Today we use this system that save a lot of water and help to the, uh, to the plants to grow good. And all the fertilizers that we use is run through the water. A computerized system is connected to all the crops to detect their water needs and usage, infestation, defects, and also alert the management when the crop is due for harvesting. With a precisely accurate system, the management sends a team to the farm for harvesting, with these vehicles being used to collect harvest to a weighing area. Before accessing the farms, the vehicles are first sprayed with anti-insecticides. 3,400 tons of banana is harvested every year, with all of it being consumed locally. 80% of the avocado harvested from over 100 acres is exported to Europe, while only 20% is consumed locally. The dairy sector continues to benefit from use of technology to increase milk production. There are over 400 milk cows and 200 calves at this farm. With use of a special leg sensor, the management is able to monitor the cow's well-being. This box has uh, uh, option to check how many steps the cow making every day. And this information is a base that's translated by special computer plan and translate the position of the cow, if the position are good or bad. Brian says the cows are kept well hydrated with an expansive sprinkler system due to the heat levels in this region and each have an identification number from the government, which are normally sold after six or seven years of producing milk. By incorporating automated milk in machines, the farm gets an average of 4 million litres of milk a year from 400 cows. 
from about $14 million generated at the farm annually. The dairy sector contributes about $280,000 annually, with the community having over 500 people. Revenues generated from kibbutz Shar Hagolan is used to cater for residents' health, education, housing, food, clothes and transportation needs, with a small amount being given to families. For family of two, or two adults and two children, that could be uh, four thousand US dollar a month. The Perez Innovation and Peace Center in Tel Aviv is the heart of innovation in the agriculture sector. The latest innovation showcased at the center includes the redefined meat, an innovation where meat is created from plants rather than depending on animals for meat. Redefined meat is made up of soy and pea proteins, chickpeas, beetroot, nutritional yeast and coconut fat. Another mind-boggling innovation is the SUS technology, which uses sound waves to transform male chicks into functional female layers that can lay eggs. The man in raising his own chickens realized that certain conditions gave him more females than males, so he started working with that idea. And now, from a batch of eggs, you can ensure that about 70 to 80 percent of them are going to be female. The idea was developed to save billions of male chicks killed after hatching since they cannot lay eggs or be used for meat production. Sensor that they can put in every tree. A green technology is another game changer in the agricultural sector. A special sensor called Lol Tree Sensor is installed into the palm trees and it monitors the vibrations and noises produced in the tree. And you put sensors in the trees and they can tell if there's a weevil there. So instead of treating a whole field full of trees, they can just treat the sick ones. Our children need to be brought to such a place. Those who are bright and science-oriented, technological mind should be brought to Israel for an exchange program. They come here, they stay here even for three to four years so that we can have these changes being brought to our country. For a country that is practically a desert, Israel has certainly made great strides by combining grit, determination and technology and innovation to become a world leader in agricultural innovation that have made the country food secure with surplus to exports.